Hey guys, what's going on? Friday London here, you know what to do, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, we've got some pretty exciting news at last, we're getting towards the end of the transfer window. We've not seen any signings apart from one which was like a youngster we're not going to see for years to come most likely once they've been out on loan like seven times. But we've actually got some exciting news. Chelsea have been offered Christoph Piatek if they sell Giroud to Inter Milan. So obviously Piatek is playing at uh, AC Milan at the moment in the Serie A. Tottenham are after him because Harry Kane is injured and they're thinking they need someone in for him of course because they're struggling without him, even though they're struggling with him to be honest. But yeah, they're really in a bad place now and uh, Piatek's agents have offered him to Chelsea for 25 million, which is quite a decent price, you know, in today's market, uh, given that it's January, so you normally pay over the odds in January for a striker that's playing at the top level, you know, AC Milan are a good club, it's um, it's a pretty good deal. And obviously Chelsea are familiar with nabbing players up from under Tottenham's nose like we did with Willian, so this would be quite a nice deal to do, one in the sake of strengthening ourselves and two, weakening a rival. So we can take a look at Piatek's uh, stats for this season and there's nothing like standout but we'll go through them. He's 24 years old, just over 6 foot tall and a pretty decent weight so his just general you know, bodily characteristics. He's young, he's tall, he's pretty like bulky, he's got good strength to him, he, he's pretty good all around there. We could take a look then in the Syria this season. He's played 14 appearances uh, with four like substitute appearances. And he's only got four goals. So there you look at that. That doesn't look too great. Average rating of 6.5. Obviously six being average. So 6.5 is a bit better than average. Uh, last season he played 18 games and got nine goals. So that's a little better of a ratio. You're looking more at a goal every other game, and that's not too bad realistically. Obviously, I think the Serie A is an easier league than the Premier League because this, especially this season, the competition throughout the entire league is pretty good. Like I think twelfth to fifth is like two points in it or four points in it or something. Like, it's a really close league this season. Anyone can beat anyone, apart from Liverpool, realistically. But yeah, it's he might struggle a little more than like a goal every other game, uh, especially given that he'd be competing with Tammy, who obviously this season has been in good form for us, scoring. Plenty of goals, keeping us up there in the uh, Premier League table. Uh, but we can take a look at Piatek's sort of characteristics, his strength for his finishing. So that's obviously a great one for us Chelsea fans because we've been seeing the sort of lacklustre performances in front of goal at times. Like you see Tammy getting sort of half chances, nothing like clear cut that he should be scoring. When he gets a clear cut chance, he tends to do pretty well with it. Um, so it's good that you know his shot accuracy to goal ratio is pretty decent. His passing is a weakness. Now that could be a problem, just because we do like to link up with the wingers a lot more, playing with like Mason as a sort of cam. He comes in behind, like passing off to him would be essential. With Ruben Loftus Cheek coming back, he's a goal threat. So getting balls into him, if like Piatek was holding the ball up with the defense, lays it off to Loftus Cheek to go past the man and strike the ball. We would need to see some decent passing, so maybe something that could be improved on. Obviously, he's 24, so there's plenty of time to improve, and he does not dive into tackles, which isn't realistically a problem or a strength for a striker. I guess it's just sort of a it's a null null object. So you see here in his past uh, games, his best has been a goal uh, against Bologna in a 3-2 win, where he got the man of the match uh, star rating with a 8.42 rating so that's actually pretty solid um, if he could perform a little more like that throughout probably wouldn't be too bad um, we can take a look then at his sort of transfer value 32 million euros which does equate to I think about 27 million pounds so the 25 million that they're sort of offering him off for is a pretty good fee uh, you can take a look there see one yellow card so not really an aggressive player like we've seen with maybe like Diego Costa uh, plays centre forward so he's a striker can play as a sort of false nine but realistically is going to play as a striker for us and that's about all the stats we've got for Krzysztof Piatek my opinion on uh, the signing of him is 
I think I'd... He, he seems a bit like another Batshuayi, so he doesn't seem like an elite level top striker that's going to come in as if it was like Cavani. Like Cavani, he's elite level, of course, but he's getting old, so that's sort of the negative with him. Piatek is sort of, you know, trying to creep into the top level of striker. It's still young, so there's time for it. But the fact that he's young sort of concerns me a little bit because we've got Tammy, who's a young striker. We're looking at bringing in Timo Werner in the summer as competition for Tammy, who is also a pretty young striker. So if we brought in Christoph Piatek, who is 24 years old, we will have three young strikers in a system that we play one striker. So, you know, someone's going to be sitting out and not getting games pretty consistently. And I don't know who that'd be. I can't see it being Tammy. I can't see it being Timo Werner, especially if he's agreeing to join us for a massive fee. We're not going to have him sitting, not playing games. So logically, it would be Christoph Piatek. But why would he sign if he's going to play for half a season? We're going to sign Timo Werner in the summer. And then he's going to sit on the bench every game or not, maybe not even get to the bench. Like it does seem a, like a bit of an odd one. Obviously he's a Polish international. You can see he's got 10 appearances uh, for Poland with five goals, which is pretty, pretty good ratio. But I just don't see how this deal works. I hope he isn't going to be like a, oh, we've got Piatek, so we don't need to get Timo Werner because I much prefer Timo Werner. I'd rather wait till the summer and get Werner in. So it's a bit of an odd one. I don't know how he fits into the team. It's possible that maybe we we take him for a season and look to sell him on. Like we give him a two-year contract, something like that. And maybe a three-year realistically, just so that he can't run down his contract. But have him play the season and be like, look, you're a bit, treat us like a stepping stone. If you come here, you perform well for a season, it'll look good for you. It'll help us reach our goals of hitting top four. And then we'll look to sell you on because realistically we've got other plans. Of course, you could, could go for a loan, but I think AC Milan want to sell him. So that's probably why that's not an option. Um, but I could see it being that sort of thing that I just mentioned where it's sort of like, come to us for a season, we'll give you a contract, pay you decently, perform for us, help us reach our goals, and then move on in the summer. If you perform good enough, there'll be clubs after you. And we can probably sell them on for a slight bit of profit he'll have progressed his career a little bit maybe able to win a big move obviously he's at ac milan now so that's a pretty uh, top level club but i don't know it's a bit of an odd one especially given that as you can see here he uh he joined ac milan in 2019 january 2019 so he's only been there a year and they haven't been too impressed with him so a bit of an odd one you know it's not something you see every day this is quite a strange deal doesn't seem to add up completely but let me know what you guys think up in the uh, poll above. Should we sign Christoph Piatek for £25 million? My opinion is yes, only if it's not impacting a team of a type move, you know? So that's, uh, that's my take on it. If you want to leave a little more detailed analysis, let me know in the comments below. Uh, do me a big old favor, like the video and subscribe so you stay up to date with all these videos and all the match reviews, match previews, player analysis videos, all the good stuff that we're making over here. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you guys.